This is Steve Williams and let's do some Q&A. So this is a question, believe it or not, we get all the time. And the, uh, the concept is everyone has extra fat that they don't want. And so if we could just give it to our friends or our family when they're thinking about a Brazilian butt lift operation or fat grafting to the breast or face or hands or any of those places we put fat, that would be ideal. And the answer is most of the time, no. But if you have an identical twin, then yes. And we've actually done those procedures before where an identical twin wants to give some fat to the other twin. You can safely graft that fat and put it into the identical twin wherever they want it. The reason you can't do it with anyone else is because the body recognizes that, whoa, this is not my fat that's on the inside of me. And you'll have an incredibly vigorous immune response. It could even be life-threatening. And so we don't do it on anyone else. But if you have an identical twin that wants to share some fat, Give us a call. So when we get questions about pain years after surgery, especially with tummy tucks, we start thinking about the abdominal wall muscle. And when we're doing tummy tucks, our job is to bring those muscles back together to reconstitute the abdominal wall, flatten that abdomen, and get those rectus muscles where they're supposed to be. Sometimes those sutures can irritate the muscle. Sometimes they can actually be little tears. But most of those issues and the pain should get better relatively soon. And so the real question is, do you have a new bulge associated with that pain? Because it may mean that some of that repair has been defeated. You should see a board certified plastic surgeon. If you can, your original surgeon, go back to them and ask them what's going on, describe your symptoms, and it may require repairing the muscle again. Sure. So earlobes are actually a really important part of our overall facial aesthetics. And um, we use earrings to kind of bring out the look that we're going for. The challenge is earrings can stretch earlobes. They can tear earlobes, especially if they get caught on things or some child grabs them. And so usually when we're talking about earlobe surgery, we're talking about repairing a tear of a previous earlobe piercing. It's a very straightforward operation. It can be done in the office. It's usually at a plastic surgery office, somewhere between $500 and $1,000. But the goal is to restore that earlobe so you can get new piercings in there. It's a relatively straightforward operation, and most people are very happy. So we love answering questions here, and no matter how kind of how crazy, as long as they're related to plastic surgery, we'll try to get them answered. Just leave your questions in the comments below and we'll get right back to you. Thanks everybody.